Hi, this is Rich Colson from Active Project Solutions. So the purpose of this video is to give you an overview of Portfolio Work Apps, which is how Work Apps works with Control Center. Now this is absolutely fantastic, and given how popular the Work Apps video has been, I thought it was about time I got on and did a video of how it works with Control Center because this just makes the creation of Work App instantaneous. So let's have a look. By the way, before we do, just a quick reminder, if you get value from this content, please do like and subscribe it to it because it means that others like you who are looking for this content will find it and it gets recommended to them. So that's the whole purpose. We're trying to help more people find uh, more content on Smartsheet to be able to achieve great things and do amazing things like you are doing as well. So thanks for watching and let's dive into the content. So I've gone in here to my page, which is with the Work Apps homepage. And on here, you can see a variety of work apps. So I've got one which is called Portfolio, and this is because it is linked to my control center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go straight into it, and it'll open up in terms of the portfolio. And what you're gonna do is because I'm an admin on it, you can see that I'm listed as a portfolio user, but I can also play around and see what the different views are of this is for an admin who gets more things to look at, and a portfolio manager who gets a few less things to look at. So when you set up the portfolio workups, you can change the views to decide what you want people to see. So as someone who's a portfolio user coming in, I want them to, when they first go in, to see what their tasks are. So this is their personalized list and raid item view, which I've created as a landing page for them. And then they can also go in to see the project list of all the projects that they're working on. And if they want to, they can go in and see and create a new project request. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in as a portfolio manager in this case. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the intake sheet here and I'm gonna find a project which I haven't yet created. And I'm gonna press that one here. And if I save it, what should be happening in the background is this will be created. So. Let's just go and have a look um, as it stands at the moment for someone else whilst this has been created by Control Center. So I'm gonna to go to Seb's profile here now. And Seb has also got access to various work apps already, but you can see that the portfolio work app owned by Rich Coles is there. So if Seb goes in, let's see what view Seb has on this one. So Seb goes in and doesn't have the drop down list or anything. And it just says, immediately opens to Seb's list of items um, again, he's got lots of overdue tasks, so Seb needs to uh, sort those ones out. Um, and lots of open tasks here. So again, personalized view means it goes straight into seeing what they need to see. Um, he could also raise a request if so wanted to, but more importantly, can go in here and see the projects which he's allocated to. So all clear and cough stop. So if Seb goes into project all clear, then this is gonna take him into the view for this project. And then he can see the various items, much as you do with the other work app, um, that's all created. So you can flick down and see a view that's been allocated to him as a team member in this case. And you can see, so he can't change certain items, um, but can contribute to the items and make notes and update the status. Um, so let's go and see Seb. Or some of the tasks that he's behind on, let's change this and help him out a bit here. So it's no longer overdue. Um, so there we go. Um, Seb is catching up a bit. So that's kind of the view that Seb would have there. Um, if he goes back to the project list, again, can go to cough stop and see that bit. But again, if we go back to the overdue items, hopefully we've reduced his list a tiny bit um, in that process. So let's just go back to the list here. We can see the project um, changes literally has just come in. That's good news. So I can press refresh and we can see that zero has now been created in this case. So zero has been created. And in fact, what I had wanted to do was also let's approve um, the LAN because what I need to do is actually get the one for Seb to come through. So let's, for the meanwhile, let's look at um, go in as um, demo productive. Oh, I need to go in and look at one for, so project sponsor Phil and set there. So if I go back to this project here as a portfolio manager, Actually, I'm now going to go out to my projects. I'm going to come back out and I'm going to make some changes now. So on the projects, if I go into here, 
Again, I'm just going back into the work app so we can see portfolio user project list. Actually, what I'm going to do um, on the project list is if we go to the project which has literally just been created, so let's just do this one here, project zero. If I go into project zero, what I'm going to do is if I go in to zero, I've got the various piece and view it as a sponsor, as the owner, as the team member, but I can't make any changes to it here because I don't have the right access. Now, if I want to go back out and I want to change it and make some edits to this, then in this piece, if I go into, and I just get to the right project here, I'm gonna to go to zero, actually from zero, going in, and what I'm able to do now is go in and actually make some changes. I'm going to go to the sponsor. I'm going to go to the team role in this case, and I'm going to add Seb into this. Seb is now added to this one. And so if I go back to Seb's view on projects, let me just refresh his view. And what we will see if we go to his project list, is you can see zero is in there and it's been added. Now, in the work apps, what we're doing at the moment is also, if I just come back out and go to the work apps home, if we go to this view here and see the it as a portfolio manager view, go to the intake sheet, and what we should find actually is Milan, that has now been created as well. Seb has been created as a um, as a project team member. So if we now go back to Seb's view of projects, this should now be appearing in his list, fingers crossed, and there we have it. So Seb's project has literally just been created. Let's go to another profile here. So we've got um, Alejandro's profile and you can see it's not showing the portfolio work apps at the moment. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh it because she's just been allocated to a project and it should now appear there we go. So that portfolio work app has just appeared. If we go into here, what can Alejandra see? So she is down as a um, as a sponsor for this one, doesn't have any tasks on her, her view, goes to the project list and she's been allocated Milan and off we go. So then Milan can go in and start contributing as a team member. So there's an overview really to show how the control center, the power of control center, which would normally stand up a project for you when you go in. So control center has created those when I've said, tick, go create the project. What's happened next is that because it's set up to create a work app, the magic happens, work app is created, the right people are assigned. So when you look at the project team level, um, you can see who has been allocated and it creates it automatically for you. So no need to create individual work apps, they're done for you. That's the magic of Control Center combined with portfolio work apps. So I trust that's been useful. And again, if the, if the work apps video is popular, I trust this is equally popular and it shows the power of Control Center when combined. So thanks for watching, bye for now.